What's poppin' everybody? Several for four. It seems the update still hasn't come in for the new format, so this is as good as time as any to show you guys expanded games. So we're gonna fire up the old trusty Raybor and kick some ass. Hopefully, let's see what my opponent's gonna be playing. So I win the coin flip, which is a good good thing that almost never happens. So good sign. Uh, playing first is very important, especially with this deck. I've said this many many times. Since we more than likely don't attack anyway, we will definitely we don't attack. I don't even have an attacker like Zapdos or let's say another quick attacker that functions on one energy like in Hoopa with Malamar. So you know, playing first, we're not going to attack anyway. So get this time to set up our Pokemon, our Tepics, and evolve them to Embor quickly. Get that early setup. All right, so I Mulligan once, so that's bad. My opponent already opened up with three Pokemon, so that's good for him. We open up with the Mime. I don't really have anything else. I wish I had a Pokemon at least. One one more Pokemon to attach the Far Energy to, so we can have a better Cynthia. Uh, let's see what the mail is going to give me. Uh, but I get to play first. We draw the Computer Search. Something that I could use, but probably not a good idea to use this early. Don't really want to discard anything either. So a trainer's mail gives me a Skyla, uh, or a candy, or a switch. Let's see, what do I have in hand? Uh, I mean, no matter what we do, uh, it's just if I get the Skyla to get, let's say, like a candy or the nest ball. I mean, no, it's it's not gonna work out. We're probably gonna Cynthia, or I guess not. But hmm. Nest Ball is in here, and I guess I do have the computer search. But, you know, it's kind of a risky play. I guess it's one of my ways to guarantee get a basic Pokemon. Uh, luckily, Nest Ball wasn't prized, but I was probably sure of that. And it really is difficult. I mean, I do have the computer search, but even if we computer search for the Candy or Embor, I mean, no matter what, I can't get both pieces so unless we get really lucky and top deck one of the pieces then we still can't use computer search so I guess I felt a little bit safe to do the Skyla Nest Ball play because uh, my opponent opened up with prim with Piplup a bunch of Piplups and of course when you see that you know it's Empoleon and Empoleon is a stage 2 deck as well so he needs he's gonna need a little bit of time to set up too so I'm not really too worried about you know, using something like Guzma or Lysander and then just Buzzwole GX killing my dude. So, luckily we do top tag the Embor, so I got really lucky here. You see, sometimes it's instinct, uh, but I guess it's dumb luck too. Uh, you gotta listen to your gut anyway. So, we're gonna discard a Far Energy and one of the Cynthia's, I guess, just because I think I kind of value the Field Blower. We might use it later. I want to get rid of his choice bands with that. So the Embor is going to come out. And it's better to lose a Fire Energy as opposed to the Energy Retrieval. So it worked out. Let's get rid of one of your choice bands. And Cynthia up for six new cards. I'll draw a good amount since we only shuffled one card in. And we still don't really see much of anything. I see a letter, Fire Energy, but no Attacker. And the Pig Knight isn't the best thing to draw right now either. So getting a little bit of un a little bit of bad luck, getting a little bit unlucky here. But I think, yeah, what we can actually do is attach one Fire Energy on Mr. Mime, retreat, then with the Energy Retrieval I'll get two Energies back, and then Embor can actually fire an attack, and we get a KO on the Piplup here. Now this is incredibly risky because I'm promoting uh, my basically my setup Pokemon here. It's pretty valuable. You need it, of course, for energy acceleration. So that's already a bad thing. Uh, the second bad thing is that my opponent, you know, running a water deck, running Empoleon too. Uh, it's not really hard for him at all to get a one-hit knockout. I mean, just with the Pokemon we have already, I think it's a it's a KO. Oh, actually, he needs one more, I guess, so that we have a six or... Hmm, 
no, I think I need one more too. I actually, let's see. I believe. Yeah, I think he should be doing like. He can't get the KO. I forgot how much damage Empoleon does, but I think, yeah, if you have like five, that's a hundred. So, right. I think, yeah, it's a KO no matter what. I was thinking if it's doing 70 or some shit. I don't know why. Anyway, okay, so he promotes the Piplup there. And this is incredibly risky, but I, I usually just for some reason, I'm always an idiot. I always do some reckless stuff like this, doing risky plays. I get the early prize here, and, you know, if he doesn't get the Pokemon out, then it automatically means I'm going to be in a very big lead because it's high risk, high reward. Then Embor is going to keep getting KOs, and put me in a big advantage. But if he does get the KO, then I lose a lot of energies and I lose Embor most importantly. So, you know, it's a high risk, high reward, like I've said. If it pays off, it's going to pay off very well, put me in a very big leading position. But if he manages to get the Empoleon out, then, you know, it's bad. So I'm hoping to God he doesn't get him out, realizing that I made a risky play. So Water Energy, already a bad sign, and Ultra Ball. Man, it's is Empoleon going to come? He already played a supporter. So what does he grab? Is the card or candy in your hand? Discard the via secret. And he adds a Tapu Lele Jig. So I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm safe. I am safe. So not only no Empoleon, but I guess it's going to lose two energy on the Piplup there. So... This worked out very excellently with me. Okay, so let's use our Juniper here. There's five cards in hand. Should I just use Chorus? I guess we're going to do that. Uh, or maybe not. I mean, I'm losing Lysander, I'm losing Energy Retrieval, but what the hell. Let's just get a big draw. Since we're going aggressive, might as well go all the way out, get ourselves in a leading position. Okay, so I see the Rayquaza AX. Very good. We're going to attach a bunch of energies too, since... Since Embor is in the active position at this point anyway, I'm just going to let him do what he can. It's going to get me another KO here, so it's worth it. For four energies, you know, he did his job. Uh, attach a few energies on the Rayquaza, because I know that he's only a matter of time before he gets knocked out. So let's have a few energies on Rayquaza. And I need to get another Tepic in play. We need to get another Embor out, since I did this risky-ass play here. So... I'm not looking so bad though. He has two Piplups now. I already removed two, uh, KO'd two of them. So now he's back to square one. He needs two energies. He needs Rare Candy and Empoleon. Of course, he is going to end here, draw a lot of cards, and you know limit my hand back to four. So okay, he might make a comeback, but he's going to need a couple of pieces. He's going to need Aqua Patch or I guess Max Elixir if he runs that. I don't think so. Uh, so there's the Aqua Patch, and it's going to need a way to switch, too, because the Aqua Patch is going to attach on the bench Pokemon. So, uh, he manually attaches the Splash Energy, and uh, has the Float Stone, too, so, okay. Rare Candy, so it does seem he has all the pieces. So, worked out, worked out perfectly for him. Uh, Empoleon is going to come out. Only five Pokemon are in play, but, you know, it should be enough to get the knockout with the weakness. Especially considering Embor is already damaged. So, yeah, 200 damage. Easy KO. So, now the tables have started to turn. Now, the problem with Empoleon, too, is once they get going... Of course, I have to discard three energies with Rayquaza to get the KO. And it's a Pokemon that only gives one prize. So let's see, I'm going to promote the Mime as a decoy there. Hopefully it works out for me. And uh, let's see, we're going to use the Mystery Treasure too. get another Rayquaza since I'm going to Juniper here. Draw a lot of cards, thinner deck as much as we can. I had to see a Tepic uh, and an Energy. At least if I don't get the Embor out by next turn, Rayquaza can retaliate with an attack. Okay, so we see two Tepics, Heavy Ball, Tabu Lele. Uh, a bunch of very good stuff. Uh, hopefully, I probably will be able to get another Embor out by next turn. And Mime there is going to have to be the decoy, as he usually does in many situations 
Over the long course of time, Mime has served as my decoy. Sometimes it worked out, sometimes it's just Guzma or Lysander. And this is what I was going to say here, and that's my worry. If he doesn't use Lysander, then it's good. If he does, then it sucks. I'm just really worried about a Lysander and a Choice Band. Just KO in my Rayquaza X. Sad thing is, is that I'm kind of forced to play my bench Pokemon here. Play the Tepix, two of them, just in case it decides to pick, up, pick on them instead. So, Mime does the job. X is my decoy. Perfect. So, Rayquaza X. I'm going to use the Energy Retrieval and get the KO. Lovely. And, I mean, he, he was going to have a rough choice. If he used Guzma or Lysander or what have you, then it means you can't really use a supporter to set up your other Pokemon. But he didn't do that anyway. He just attached the Water Energy and I believe passed. So, I guess he doesn't really have a lot of good stuff to work with. That's what it is with the fucking Stage 2 decks. I'm going to have a video up. I mean, I already recorded it, but I'm kind of holding off. I'm going to upload it talking about this very thing. Uh, I'm not going to give you guys the topic yet, but it has to do with Stage 2 Pokemon and a specific card. Well, I guess I already spoiled too much. Anyways, uh, back to the game. So we're going to evolve into the Pig Knight since I drew it. And Tapulele. What are you going to fetch me? I mean, I, I don't even think I really just want to uh, use N or Juniper. I mean, Juniper would be foolish. I discard a lot of valuable things. N, even more foolish since I help out my opponent when he doesn't have anything. So I guess the only logical thing would be to just get Skyla and just get something. Get the cards slowly, one by one, thin the deck that way. I mean, I do have energies. I do have the Fisherman. This is stuff that I need. All I need is just the Embor now. So I guess we can add, we could add Scorch Earth, or I can just add Via Seeker to just use Cynthia next turn again. Uh, and I guess we're going to go with the Via Seeker. Uh, maybe, I think Scorch Earth would have been the better play, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, Via Seeker, I guess, can't be handed to, depending on what he draws, what he does. Maybe I don't want a Fisherman. Alright, so another KO, so we're in the lead there, my opponent isn't that far behind with four prizes, and he can get an easy two, K, two hit, uh, an, an easy two prizes if he KOs for Quasi X, it's not that hard, I have five Pokemon down, he's got three, uh, it doesn't really, he doesn't really need a lot, uh, with these old EXs, it's not difficult at all, and Polion just has uh, a little bit of harder time with the stage GXs, GXs since they have 200 and over 200. So, you know, he needs the choice band, he needs a full bench to do his thing. But when it comes to these 180, 170 old DX Pokemon, uh, what would you know uh, from the black and white era, X and Y era and whatnot, it's not that difficult for him. I mean, I think he's going to be able to get, yeah, he is going to be able to get the KO here, even without a choice band. He just does enough damage, he should be doing like 180. Okay, so we got a restaurant from the prizes. Still haven't managed to get a heat transfer from Forbidden Light, Fire One. And it's not really a useful thing, because it's easy for Empoleon to get a one hit knockout, so I can't utilize Outrage. And just doing Blue Flare for 120, it doesn't do me the job anyway. So luckily, we top deck Embor. So I'm going to be able to make my play here, keep the pressure up. We're going to use Fisherman, get a lot of fire energies, and I should have enough to get the KO once again. And he's really going to feel the hurt in here, uh, having trouble, you know, keeping up with playing the Empoleons and powering them up. You know, it's difficult, at least for me. I only need to get, like, one Embor route, maybe two, I guess, just for backup. It's a good idea to have that. But, you know, I don't really aim to get Stage 2's all day out. My main attacker is a basic AX Pokemon. And I made the misplay there. Uh, played down the Reshiram. That was probably a foolish thing. I regretted it, doing it. I'm, I'm like, I'm used to just playing them down. But I'm thinking, why did I do that? This Pokemon can't really contribute anything to this game. And, you know, I'm just giving him Pokemon to fuel his total command attack. But I, I guess on the flip side is that if he ends, then I don't have to worry about drawing that card. That's one thing to worry about with my deck. 
Okay, so let's see. Dragon Burst. We're going to get the KO. I could have attached the energies on, let's say, Entei GX. Or, um, well, just Entei GX. Nobody else. Just to get them out of my hand. Once again, for N, have a few energies in play. Just in case that happens. But, you know, we decided to just not do it. He doesn't... If he ends, you know, he's close to prizes with me. So he's going to lose a lot of shit as well. And he doesn't have a Pokemon like a Cotillery out. Or Ranguru at least. So, I feel kind of safe that he's not going to end. He needs a lot of cards to do shit. And, uh, what do you know? He plays teammates. And get the pieces, I guess. To bring out another Pokemon. Uh, the... Oricorio, there is not really a threat. I don't have that many Pokemon in the discard pile, so that Pokemon can do anything. I mean, I guess he could maybe try to KO Tepic and just get, you know, prizes easy like that. Uh, it could be a sound strategy, but then it's an easy KO for me too. And you, you'd like to think that he wants to get another Empoleon, and that's probably the best bet. He does have a Primplop out. He does have a, another... A Piblop with a Water Energy, and it's actually pretty dangerous because he's, he promoted Oricorio as a decoy there as well. It's going to get the Empoleons ready, and with all these Pokemon we have on the bench, no matter what, it is a KO. So, I'm going to lose, even if I get a prize here. It's going to bring out the Empoleon and finish me off. So, we're going we're gonna to have to do some different shit here. Hmm. Maybe I think I'm going to have to use the NTGX and start doing some snipes. Uh, even with the VSC group, it, will, it might be a good idea to get the Giratina there stuck. That's the Giratina promo there that blocks break Pokemon. Mostly used as a tech, and that's it. So, let's see here. I, to I top deck another Fire Energy, and I believe we might have to do that. I have to get uh, Rayquaza out of the way. I mean, promoting NTGX, that's still basically another Pokemon that gives to prizes that's also weak to water. But I really don't have much to go with here. We're going to have to just do things the snipe way. Uh, leave, well not leave, we're going to try and get the Giratina stuck there since it has a bigger retreat cost. But I'm going to snipe down one of the threats there. Both of them are Primplops with one Water Energy, so it doesn't make much of a difference. You know, he was kind of clever in that regard, you know, spreading things out. So what that means is that even if I knock out the other one, one of them, the other one could just very well get ready anyway. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring out Giratina there with two prizes. Hopefully it gets stuck. Brave Burn GX, going to snipe down one of the threats there. And... You know, I have him in a position where he only has one of his dudes. I guess that's that's all he needs. And But he needs to basically evolve him, get an energy, and retreat as well. So it's possible he has these pieces, but hopefully he lost a lot of them. Hopefully he doesn't have any more. And, you know, if he doesn't do anything, I can easily retreat again and finish the job with Rayquaza EX. So he uses Chorus, that's very big. But as soon as he does this, I know that at least, okay, there's no Guzma. So you really need a Float Stone. So Empoleon comes out, and it's actually the one that, uh, the Dark Explorers one, I guess he was running that too. The Choice Band comes on. Uh, it, it should still be enough for him to get a Knockout, since I'm weak to water. Man, if I had known that, I probably would have kept a active maybe. Uh, I mean, I guess this was still the, probably the best move to make on my part. Snipe his dudes while they're down and bring something to be stuck. So he draws a few cards with Empoleon's great ability. OG Zorak GX dude. And uh, can you do it? Can you retreat? And... The answer is... Come on, don't take, don't take forever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> the answer is no. He won't be able to retreat. Uh, has all this hand, but looking at the cards, he really just he can't do anything. He's probably thinking if there's any way, but yeah, checking his discard pile. There's a lot of resources there, and he scoops. Couldn't do it. So 
that's GG, a really great game, really close game with Empoleon, but it was really great, I liked it, back and forth, so, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this with your friends, Saber Wolf 94, what's up?